Hey guys and welcome to another blog spotlight. In this spotlight I'm going to take a look at the Steam Dynamo from Thermal Expansion. Now before we get to the actual Steam Dynamo let's have a look at its crafting recipe. Alright so the Steam Dynamo is made using a piece of redstone in the bottom sensor slot here which has got some copper ingots around it. Then we have copper gears on the left and the right in the middle and finally at the top we have a redstone transmission coil. Now the copper gears are simply made by placing some copper ingots around a uh, well an iron ingot right here and the uh, rest redstone transmission coil is made using a silver ingot in the center which has got some redstone at the ends of it. All right. So what the steam dynamo does is basically it converts uh, well steam into power. Now in Terminal Expansion 3, where this uh, steam dynamo block was added, we have a new power system called Redstone Flux. So before it used Minecraft tools from Buildcraft, but now it uses its own system called the Redstone Flux. So this steam dynamo generates this Redstone Flux power. Now it has an internal buffer um, yeah, right here, of 40,000 redstone flux. So it can store redstone flux in there, but I've got it hooked up to redstone energy conduit right here, and that's hooked up to a, a resonant energy cell. All right. So basically what you want to do is, so yeah, uh, before we get to that, I've got a high pressure uh, boiler here uh, from Railcraft, which is generating steam. So from uh, creosote oil and uh, water. Now this tank is filled with steam but for some reason the texture is messed up in this pack and I, yeah so just trust me that's all steam in there. So uh, I've got this lever here and when I switch that on we will get steam flowing into the steam demo. So let's do that. Now we've got steam flowing in here as you can see the buffer here is completely filled up with steam and now it is generating power. Now no power is going into the internal buffer because it has got the redstone energy conduit right here where it is outputting power into. And this uh, stores it nicely into this resonant energy cell. Now let's get a multimeter really fast. Multimeter, I'm not sure how to pronounce that. And as you can see, when we check the power here, it's uh, producing 80 redstone flux per tick. So that's the rate at which this steam dynamo produces power for you. Now, let's say you don't have a giant uh, steam factory like this one set up for you and you don't really have any means of generating steam. Well, this steam dynamo has got you covered too in that case. So uh, you need a crescent hammer to remove this properly so press shift and right click at the crescent hammer like most of the thermal expansion blocks and let's place it back so now it doesn't have any steam in there and what you want to do is connect this up to water source and I've got this giant water tank here so I'm connecting it up to there and now we have water in this uh, internal uh, well reservoir I guess for buckets can be stored in there at once and uh, so yeah the fluid deck will keep providing it with water but what you want to do is place coal in here or any other uh, sort of um, solid fuel and what you will see now is that we've got steam in here and there's no steam flowing in from the tank here and that's because it's burning the coal and turning the water into steam so the steam dynamo does not only take in steam from any source that produces steam or you you know any source you have to make steam it also has the ability to make steam itself and it does that by burning fuel so I'm using coal here because you know it's it's the most recognizable fuel but uh, other fuel should work too so yeah that's basically what happens here so the steam dynamo takes coal or any, any other fuel and burns it and turns the water that's in it that you're providing uh, to it into steam and if we check with the multimeter again it's still providing 80 redstone flux per tick all right so that's it for the steam dynamo i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please like and subscribe and i will see you guys in the next one